Okay guys, it's middle of October, um, headed to towards Cody. I uh, always like to check the canals this time of year. When the, uh, about the 15th of October, they stop the canal flow usually. And there's a lot of trout get trapped. And also some uh, bait fish, sucker fish, whatnot. But I've caught some big brown trout over the years in some certain holes. We're gonna go check them out and see how the water level's doing, if it's subsided enough to fish. Let's get to, to checking this out and hopefully we have a, a good a good trip. Um, might be a little too early, we'll see. Come along. Yeah, here we go, guys. Got all the blue collar boys watching us. Oh, there's some ducks. That's cool. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Sorry to disturb you. That probably doesn't help the fishing. It's like some, somebody's already been down here. You can see their worm worm bucket. I don't know why people got a litter. Scumbag. Okay, just had a nibble. Yep, we definitely had a nibble. Let's go get him again. Pretty sure we had a nibble. There we go. There we go, boys and girls. Probably a brown trout, I'm thinking. Now good luck getting him, huh? Let's see here. I don't think I can get him up. Uh, I've got four pound line here. <laughs> there you go. Nothing wrong with that. Nice two, two and a half pound brown. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> And I guess we're gonna keep him. Well, yeah, I don't wanna keep him. We'll throw him back. Okay, let's throw him back. That feels good, boys and girls. We got him. <laughs> Got him on our old Dion Sanders lure that's just trashed. Time to, to put a new one on. So right on, good job. No skunk for you. No skunk for you. Come back in one year. All right, <laughs> so let's just keep hitting the spots. We got a special spot I'll take you to here in a little bit. In fact, let's go check that out right now. Well, Joe Biden called and said we need some gas in our car, so I guess we'll go. 
get some gas. 317. So I think that's probably not bad compared to a lot of you guys. Beats filling up the pickup. Only 50 bucks there. Could be worse. I'm gonna throw on another Neon Dion since the other one we've got is trashed. So there's our Neon Dion's. And that is a brown trout catching fool. I'll put those in my pocket. We will redo this one. good about that it's one of my favorite times of year dad and I were here a few years ago and we weren't catching them but there were some big spawners swimming up from the Shoshone River and uh, they were jumping up into the culvert to cross underneath the highway and I'm not kidding you they were at least five six pound fish and uh, Pretty special. Pretty special. Go. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> oh yeah. We'll let him expend some energy. Nice big brown trout. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, good job, guys. Let's go see if we can land him. He's a nice fish. I don't care what you say there. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Big old brown. I need to get some six-pound tests is what I need. I'm going to try it. There we go. Oh, he broke it. He broke the line. We knew he would. There you go. That's a nice fish. That's as fish is as long as my arm. Nice fish. Okay guys, we'll toss him back in. Nice work. <laughs> nice. He broke our line right at the end there, like we knew we would. Yeah, he bent our hook even, so that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good, it's just a simple white jig. And we got a neon Dion 
on there. I like it. That paint's worn off. Beautiful thing. Thought I'd show you the construction of this railroad bridge. They don't make them like they used to, that's for sure. A lot of heavy lifting there. Big old steel girders. They don't make it like they used to. Okay, so we're at a spot. I'm gonna grab another Panther Martin. Bigger the better. Just so we can get a good cast and get it out deep. And I'm gonna throw on my wading or my irrigating boots. Since we're gonna put in the lock in the hubs on this one, gotta do a little hiking down into the canal bottom. It's when you always hope there's not spiders in the bottom of your boots. Oh well. Just grab a handful of grass and have a little faith. There we go. Yeah, it's a good thing we it's a good thing we brought the irrigating boots. But anyways, I've done really well here in the past for trout, cutthroats, rainbows, browns. I've never used a jig here. So let's see what that does, what that looks like. I'm just gonna kind of reel it in. Oh, got a hit already. He hit it good. Yeah, there's fish in here. I wish I'd have landed him, darn it. I wasn't quite ready for it. There we go, first cast. Never a good sign, <laughs> but I'll take it. Oh, he let himself go. Just like a George Strait song. She let herself go. So that looks pretty lucky there. Let's give it a whirl. Okay guys, so I just saw a big old three, four pound trout take a midge off the top of the water. See if we can get his attention. Probably ought to go get a fly rod. Huh, not even a chaser. We'll go over here. Sometimes I let it sink a little bit, get a little depth. Those fish are gonna be a little lower on a sunny day like today. Oh, there we go. So they don't have that sun in their eyes. Oh yeah, nice fish. There we go. Little three quarters of a pound, pound fish. Should have brought my forceps. There we go. Okay, buddy, thank you. Sweetness. Welcome, welcome, Sabbath morning. It seems like a lot of times they hit right before it gets out of their reach, coming to the other shore. They think it's getting away. But I definitely think it's good to go down a couple feet if you can. Oh, I think I missed one. Might have got hung up. Definitely on a sunny day, it's good to get them down a little bit because they don't like looking in the sun any more than we do. This ought to be a fish. Come on. I always hold my rod tip straight out in front of me and make it so when you get a hit, you can swing those hips. Use your whole body to set the hook. Come on, fish. There we go, right at the end, like I said. Right at the end.
course those fish hang out by the shore lines that's where all the feed is you guys were born on the same day weren't you yes sir okay don't worry we're gonna let you go he doesn't like us <laughs> and there he goes he wanted out of my hands let's do it again this little place has been a special place to me over the years one day i got laid off from my job young 20 year old something kid it was not a good time to be laid off i think it was probably about this time of year just as winter was coming on and I came here on the way home to tell my wife what happened and caught one of the biggest brown trout of my life. And I always looked at that with thankfulness and Providence was looking down on me that day because instead of dwelling on the worries of the day, which there were plenty to worry about back then, I was able to focus on this nice, Nice hook jaw brown trout. In fact, I'll try to I'll try to dig up a picture of that. Show you guys. Well, it's a special place to me. Special time of year. The Lord has been good to us as a family. Oh, just missed one. I was goofing off. Sometimes those obstacles in your life turn out to be opportunities. And uh, we pretty much never looked back from getting laid off of that job and just went in a different direction and focused more on my own businesses. And it was actually a blessing in disguise, as they always are. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna call out a trip, guys. Oh, he's a nice one. Might be a rainbow the way he's fighting. I always say that. <laughs> oh yeah. Nope, it's just a. Uh, I don't know what you are. Probably a brownie. Yep, big brown. So he's two, two and a half pounds. There, easy. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna give him. 18 and a half inches, 19 inches. And we're gonna see you next year, buddy. You're gonna be the last fish on this place. I don't know why I'm going, but I'm just enjoying the day. Yeah, nice healthy fish. There we go. Set that hook, Joe. Oh, just a dink. He's still on though. He's swimming my way. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh man, he's a dink. <laughs> We're dragging him in by the gills. <laughs> hey, I think it might be a cutty. Yay, Yellowstone cut. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I knew they were in here. Not very many of them, but they're definitely in here. Okay, so. i get a picture of you and put you back, bud. Nice Yellowstone Cuddy. Almost has a rainbow look to him. Oh yeah, it is a rainbow. See, his fin's got white on it. So he does have a cut or two, but that fin on the white tip on the anal fin there is a giveaway, I believe. <laughs> Later days, bud. Let's call it. Let's call it. Let's see if we can climb out of here. 
Just toss the fishing rod up on top and there she be. Well guys, thanks again for coming along. Glad we were able to get some content there. Um, been doing this for a few years now and it's just been one of those things I look forward to every fall. So thanks for watching. Thanks for helping me have the motivation to get off the couch and go see the world. So I'll catch you on the next one. Tight lines. Huh. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of fish in there. And you guys can't see them, but they're in there. Boy, a lot of fish in there. And they're probably suckers. They're probably sucker fish. So we're going to have a good year getting bait. Hopefully this water will keep dying down throughout the fall. Yeah, buddy. I don't know if you're able to see it, but I'm seeing 50 to 80, 100 fish down there. Just hugging bottom. There, they spooked a little bit. Wow.